Thank you for purchasing the Genome MemoryCraft sewing machine. This is Genome's latest computerized embroidery sewing machine, featuring Genome's patented built-in embroidery carriage, ATA PC card compatibility, and a 16-tone high-quality LCD touch panel, to name just a few of the amazing features. Use your ATA PC card to transfer and save designs from various sources via your personal computer. Edit and combine them to create designs with your own personal touch. We're certain that you'll be glad you chose a Genome and that it will give you many years of creative pleasure. Let's now take a look at the operating instructions. You can view each chapter by clicking the corresponding button or by selecting Auto, you can view the entire set of instructions. Chapter 1. Before you sew. Getting to know your machine will enhance your sewing experience. In Chapter 1, let's begin by setting up your machine. Connecting the power. This product is equipped with a worldwide auto voltage power system that operates on a range from 100 to 240 volts, enabling the machine to be used anywhere in the world. Before connecting the machine to the power supply, be sure to turn the power switch off. Connect the power supply cable to the machine and insert the plug into the power outlet, then turn the power switch on. Essential parts of your machine. Spool pin. Hold spools of thread to feed thread to the machine. Bobbin winder spindle. A holder for bobbins when winding. Thread cutter. Conveniently located for ease of use. Hook cover plate. Remove to insert bobbins. Needle threader. Push down to set the position for automatically threading the needle. Thread take-up lever for fastening needle thread. Turn the hand wheel to control the needle bar and thread take-up lever. Press the start-stop button to start or stop the machine. Red indicates that the machine is running and green that it is stopped. Winding the bobbin. Lightweight bobbin thread is required for optimum thread tension for embroidery sewing. We recommend Genome bobbin threads, as they are specifically manufactured to meet the needs of Genome embroidery machines. To wind the bobbin, Place a spool of thread on the spool pin, with the thread coming off the spool as demonstrated. Attach the spool holder to hold the spool firmly in place. Two spool holders are included as standard accessories. The large holder is used with ordinary spools, and the small holder for small spools. If you need to wind a bobbin while sewing, use the additional spool pin, like this so you don't need to unthread the machine to wind the bobbin. Pull the thread and slip it around the knob. Insert the end of the thread through the hole in the bobbin from the inside. Put the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle and push it to the right. The visual touch screen will indicate that the machine is in bobbin winding mode. Holding the free end of the thread in place with your hand, Press the Start-Stop button. Stop the machine when the bobbin has made several turns and trim the thread close to the bobbin. Press the Start-Stop button again. When the bobbin is fully wound, it will stop automatically. Return the bobbin winder spindle to the left and remove the bobbin. Cut the thread with the thread cutter on the machine. Slide the hook cover release button to the right and the hook cover will pop open. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder so that the thread unwinds counterclockwise. Draw out the thread and slip it into the notch on the front. 
gently pull the thread to the left through the tension spring blades until the thread slips into the notch on the side. Draw the free end of the thread to the back, leaving a 6-inch tail. Reattach the hook cover plate. For your convenience, a threading diagram is shown on the hook cover plate. Threading the machine. Place a spool of thread on the spool pin and fix it firmly in place with the spool holder. After raising the presser foot, bring the needle to its highest position with the hand wheel. Each threading point is clearly marked with a number indicating its order in the threading sequence. Hold the thread and draw it around the corner and toward you along the channel. Then thread the machine following the numbers until number 5. Then slip the thread around the hook on the left of the needle bar. The built-in needle threader. Push the needle threader down as far as it will go. A hook will come out through the needle eye from behind. Draw the thread down around the threader guide and under the hook. Release the threader slowly while holding the end of the thread with your hand. To draw up the bobbin thread, raise the needle with the hand wheel to its highest point. While holding the end of the needle thread, pull the needle thread to lift up a loop of the bobbin thread. You may feel some tautness in the thread. Pass the needle thread through the hole in the embroidery foot and draw it up to the thread holder, leaving an inch of free thread. Adjusting the thread tension. Depending on the fabric and or type of thread, the tension should be adjusted manually. You can adjust the thread tension by turning the tension dial. If the thread tension is adjusted properly, a small amount of the needle thread will show through on the wrong side of the fabric. If the bobbin thread shows on the right side of the fabric, reduce the tension by turning the tension dial to a lower number. If the needle thread forms loops and the stitches look shaggy on the wrong side, increase the tension by turning the dial to a higher number. Chapter 2 Mode Selection Keys Press the Mode key to open the Mode Selection window. Four Mode Selection Keys will appear. The File Open key, the Set key, the Help key, and the return carriage key. The open file key. This key allows you to access previously saved embroidery designs. The my setting key. Press the my setting key. This allows you to customize the machine's settings, including screen contrast, sewing light options, and other settings to suit your preferences. Let's take a look at how to change the settings. Screen Contrast Sound Control Eco Mode In the Eco Mode, the screen will go dark, and the sewing light will turn off. When you touch the screen, the last displayed screen will be shown, and the light will turn on. By pressing the plus or minus keys, the timer can be set for between 1 and 30 minutes. Inch Millimeter Settings Let's proceed to the next page by pressing the next page key. Key Position Adjustment By pressing this key, you can calibrate the touch screen. Embroidery Speed Adjustment By pressing the plus or minus key, you can select the maximum embroidery sewing speed between 400 and 650 stitches per minute. Sewing Light On-Off Press the Next Page key to move to the final page. Thread Selection 
The color code of the selected brand will be shown on the color or part key along with the name of the color. Formatting the built-in memory. Format keys. You can erase stored files completely by pressing Yes to the right of the built-in memory or ATA PC card keys. A protected PC design card will not be affected. Before erasing the files, make sure to make a backup copy, because once you erase the files, there is no way to recover them. This allows you to reset your machine to the same settings as when you purchased it, except for the language setting. After setting your preferences, press the Register key. If you press the Return key, your machine will return to the previous screen, without registering the settings. To change the language of the display, press the Flag tab. You can select from 11 languages. The Quick Help Mode key. The Help Mode shows you useful tips on basic operations of the machine. The Return Carriage key. When this key is pressed, the carriage retracts the arm before turning off the machine. Chapter 3 Embroidery Sewing Preparation Embroidery Hoops Two different sizes of embroidery hoops and two templates for use with the embroidery hoops are provided with your memory craft. Embroidery hoop A is the standard size, 12.6 cm by 11 cm, 5 inches by 4.3 inches. Embroidery hoop B is a large size, 20 cm by 14 cm, 7.9 inches by 5.5 inches. Stabilizers This fabric is a knit. So, let's fuse the iron-on stabilizer on the wrong side of the fabric with a flat iron. All embroidery projects require stabilizing. Stabilizing your fabric gives optimum results to your projects and minimizes the chance of thread jamming or breaking. There are various types of stabilizers available and selection may require several practice runs, but the results will be worth it. Tear away. It is lightweight, giving the fabric more substance and prevents puckering. Iron-on. This fusible, non-woven stabilizer is suitable for knits. Water-soluble. This wash-away film is very effective with high-nap fabrics. Attaching the embroidery hoop to the machine. Use hoop A. Be sure that the hoop is the right side up. The correct side of the inner hoop is labeled with R and L. Loosen the screw on the outer hoop. Lay the prepared fabric and place the inner hoop with the template on it. Insert them into the outer hoop. Tighten the screw on the outer hoop to stretch the fabric. Make sure that the fabric is stretched drum tight in the hoop. To attach the embroidery hoop to the machine, turn the attaching knob until it is parallel with the hoop. Then set it on the carriage by fitting the pins into the carriage holes. Turn the attaching knob clockwise. Always check that there is sufficient clearance for the embroidery carriage behind your machine before starting the machine. Chapter 4. Embroidery Sewing. Embroidery Mode. There are four categories in the embroidery mode. Built-in designs, monogramming, ATA PC card, and editing. Built-in designs. Your memory craft provides you with 90 ready-to-sew built-in designs. To view the next page, press the Next Page key.
Press the Pattern Selection key to select the pattern you wish to sew. Let's select design number 10. The stitch image and each colored section in the design will be displayed on the screen, along with the sewing time in minutes, the number of thread colors required, the size of the design, and the foot and hoop size. On the lower part of the screen, there are four jog keys. Use the jog keys to precisely adjust the hoop position, matching the needle drop position with the center of the design. Pressing the tracing key causes the hoop to move and trace the outline of the selected design so that you can check the sewing position without stitching. Now you are ready to sew the embroidery pattern. Lower the presser foot and press the start stop button. After sewing several stitches, stop the machine. Trim the thread and press the start stop button again. The machine will sew the first color section and stop automatically when it has finished. Change the thread to the next color and start the machine again. The stitch count and stitch back and forward keys are very useful when the thread runs out or breaks during sewing. You can move the hoop to where the thread has broken or run out. Every time you press the stitch back or stitch forward key, the hoop moves 10 stitches in that direction. Monogram Sewing In the Monogram Selection window, you can program words by pressing the alphabet keys directly. Select from three fonts and two-letter and three-letter monograms. European accented letters, upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and other characters. Delete a character by moving the cursor under it and pressing the Delete key. The cursor can be moved to the left and right with the cursor keys. Add letters by moving the cursor key to the desired position and pressing the letter. Letter Size Key Select from large, medium, and small letters. Use the horizontal vertical function to choose a horizontal or vertical orientation. It will allow you to fit in more characters when using the B hoop. Save your monogram by pressing the File Save key. The file will be named automatically starting from M001, or you can name the file yourself by pressing the File Name key. For example, let's call the file Genome. To save the file, press the OK key. Magnifier key. Pressing the magnifier key enlarges the letter number keys to make entry easier. Press the return key to go back to the previous screen. OK key. After creating your monogram, press this key to confirm your selections. The display will change to the embroidery screen. ATA PC Cards – Optional Item The MemoryCraft 300E is compatible with ATA PC Cards, which can be used to save original designs created in the editing mode and also to transfer design data between the MemoryCraft 300E and your PC. The ATA PC Card consists of an adapter and compact flash. PC Design Cards – Optional Item in addition to the built-in embroidery designs, there are hundreds of attractive designs available from the optional PC Design Card Library. Please check our website at www.genome.com for the latest PC Design Card releases. To open the designed files, insert the card into the slot of the MemoryCraft 300E. Press the PC Card tab in the embroidery mode to display the designs contained in the card. Press the desired pattern. The Editing Mode The editing function allows you to modify and combine embroidery patterns from the built-in memory, ATA cards, or PC design cards to create your own original designs. 
Press the Edit key to open the editing screen. The Hoop Selection window opens to allow you to select the hoop, Standard A, Round F, or Large B. The Round Embroidery Hoop F, 12.6 cm by 11 cm, is an optional accessory. Press the OK key and the editing screen showing the selected hoop will open. Press the Cancel key to return to the editing screen without changing the selection of the hoop. Choose pattern number 10. To move the embroidery pattern on the editing screen, press Hold and drag the pattern to a desired location with your fingertip, or move it on the screen with the layout keys. Do not drag the pattern on the screen with a sharp or pointed object. When the Cancel key is pressed, all of the changes made on the screen will be cancelled. When the Size key is pressed, the Size Adjusting window will appear. The size of the embroidery patterns can be changed from 90% to 120% in 10% intervals each time the plus or minus key is pressed. Press the OK key after resizing. You can flip the embroidery design vertically or horizontally to create mirror image designs by pressing the mirror image keys. The embroidery design can be rotated by 45 degrees clockwise each time the rotation key is pressed. When the delete key is pressed, the selected pattern will be deleted. Press the magnifier key to enlarge the image of the selected pattern. Press the Return key to go back to the previous screen. You can save your original embroidery designs in the built-in memory or in an ATA PC card inserted in the machine's card slot. Chapter 5 Embroidery Sewing – Creating an Original Design Now let's try to make an original design using the editing functions. Press the Edit key to select the editing mode. Select the B hoop. Press the built-in design key, then press the next page key, and select pattern number 72. Drag it to the upper left corner. Press the built-in design key, then select pattern number 72 again. Press the Horizontal Flip key, then press the Rotate key twice to rotate the design 90 degrees. Next, drag the pattern to the lower right corner. Press the Monogram key and select the Script font. Press the Letter Size key to select large size letters. Enter M in uppercase and E-M-O-R-Y in lowercase letters. Then press OK. Press the monogram key again and enter C in uppercase. And R-A-F-T in lowercase letters. Then press OK. With the Layout key, adjust the position of the words. Press the Save File key if you wish to save the design for future use in the built-in memory or an ATA PC card. It will be saved as a single pattern file. If you wish to sew the design, press the OK key. Chapter 6 Care and Maintenance before carrying out any maintenance or cleaning, be sure to turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply. It is a good idea to change a needle after approximately 8 hours of sewing or when starting a new project. For embroidery sewing, Genome provides two kinds of embroidery needles, blue tip needles and red tip needles. Blue tip needles, size 11, included in the accessories, are suitable for a wide range of embroidery sewing. When embroidering and sewing heavy material, such as denim, red tip needles are recommended as they can penetrate the fabric easily and prevent thread breakage. To change the needle, 
loosen the needle clamp screw and remove the needle. Insert a new needle with the flat side facing back. Push the needle up against the stopper and tighten the needle clamp screw securely with a screwdriver. Cleaning the machine. It is recommended that the hook area be cleaned at least once a month. Slide the hook cover plate release button to the right and remove the hook cover plate. Take the bobbin out from the bobbin holder. Remove the screw on the needle plate. Remove the needle plate and take out the bobbin holder. Clean the hook race with a lint brush. Wipe the bobbin holder and inside of the hook race with a soft, dry cloth. Replace the bobbin holder in the hook race, making sure the knob fits next to the stopper of the hook race. Attach the needle plate and secure it with the screw. Insert the bobbin and attach the hook cover plate. Never use benzol or other chemical solvents for cleaning the outside of the machine. Wipe the machine using a soft cloth soaked in warm water and neutral detergent. When carrying or storing the MemoryCraft 300E, ensure that the embroidery carriage arm is fully retracted to avoid damage from impact with the cover or during transportation. Turn on the machine or press the return carriage key to retract the arm. Then proceed to turn off the machine. Store your machine in a cool, dry place. Enjoy your MemoryCraft 300E.